Hey everybody, how you doing today? This is Matt Fish, owner and founder of Melt Barn Grilled. I think you guys probably figured out where we're at for today's shoot. I hope we are at the awesome, the best amusement park, not only in Ohio, not only in the United States, but let's just say on the planet, in the universe, we are at Cedar Point. And if you forgot, Melt Barn Grilled has a full service operation at Cedar Point. I'm standing here with my good friend, Jason McClure. He is the vice yes. president, general manager, and like what he likes to call himself, the grand poobah That's right. of yeah. Cedar Point. <laughs> the all-knowing, the all-seeing, the eyes. But I like it. Jason is basically in charge of the park, and Jason was a big part of Melt Barn Grill getting to Cedar Point three years ago. We're in our third season. That's it's crazy it's to gone think. Fast. Yeah, yeah 2017 gone fast. was grand opening. We're now in 2019. And we wanted to get together with Jason. We want to show you guys the space before we opened up to get you excited about the park this year. But I thought it'd be a good time for us to get back in the time machine, go back and talk a little bit about how this whole crazy partnership started with us and Cedar Point. So it started with a, a social media tweet with, yeah. the, with the marketing manager here at Cedar Point, Tony Clark. But it's a modern business partnership though, right? It started with a, a innocuous tweet on social media and turned into a relationship. Here we are today, two years, three years later, and we've got a full service operation inside the park. So maybe Jason, tell us a little bit about why was it important, not only to have a, an awesome full service restaurant like Melt inside the park at Cedar Point, but why us? Yeah, for sure. You know, we were looking for a great place to add to the park for guests that are here for a long time. Some, a lot of our guests are here all day long, so they may want to grab something quick to eat as they go ride right. to ride, but they, they're looking for a place to catch a break, have a nice meal, have a drink in the air conditioning, and we were looking to bring that level of experience to our guests. We wanted to do it with something local, right? We could have we could have brought in any anybody. We get asked that question a lot. How do you decide what kind yeah. of a menu? How do you decide what kind of a restaurant? And we really thought we want to have somebody that has a local connection that'll connect with our guests in the Cleveland area, northern Ohio. Cool. Um, and we wanted something that was that would match Cedar Point, right? Yeah. Larger than life. Larger than life. Unique Big. experiences, right. and that's the sandwiches that Mel provides. Well, so. thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what's new this year at C for Cedar Point? Because we were new three years ago. So. Back in 17, Melt was the big thing, and then last year, the Steel Vengeance was the big roller coaster that rolled out last year, and we actually tied a sandwich in, the, uh, the Steel Vengeance Chicken Club, which sold crazy <laughs> last year. Like, the kitchen staff here was like, man, it's a great sandwich, but oh my gosh, like, we sold so many of them, we're almost <laughs> sick of making this, this dumb thing. And this year, we're tying a food item into a brand new experience, right? Right, yeah, for sure. Uh, Roller coasters is what we are known for. Right. Still Vengeance was another awesome one. But a lot of our guests never step foot on a roller coaster, right? They're here for the atmosphere, the food, and the entertainment. Right. And we keep trying to reinvent ourselves just like on the coasters from an entertainment standpoint. So Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island is a whole new way for our guests to interact with the park and be entertained. And uh, the cool part is the guest becomes the star of the show. We've got live actors in the space. We've created their cool. entire community from scratch. So they live on Adventure Island. No kidding. Um, interact with one another. But as the guests start the day, every day is different. The script changes. It evolves wow. based on the way our guests interact with our uh, talent and the characters. Really? There's puzzles to solve, uh, games and challenges where you can enter a challenge against another guest. And depending on the results of those, the plot line for the day will change. So wow. every day on uh, Adventure Island is a different kind of day. It's a it's a unique way to be entertained here at Cedar Point. That's awesome. So you're saying, if, hypothetically, if I was staying for a weekend at Cedar Point and I went to Adventure Island every day during that weekend, three yeah. days, it's going to be a completely different experience. It's not going to be the same like script and you go see it. You know, like we're like almost like robotic. It's going to be brand new, different. Yeah, it would be totally different. So. Melt Barn Grilled, obviously, we're based in nostalgia. And you can see behind us, there's a ton of memorabilia up on the walls. We, when we first opened this Melt location back in 17, as you guys may or may not know, like I source all the memorabilia on the walls for all the locations, but especially this one here. 
I got to go into the Cedar Point archives and just literally hours and hours and hours diving through old signs, old photographs, old rides, old, old this, old that at Cedar Point and was able to pretty much hand pick everything you see on these walls which was such a fun experience and it really ties into the nostalgia aspect of what Melt's all about because gourmet grilled cheese sandwiches ties back to people's childhood. To me, Cedar Point, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, so this was so many childhood memories here, but I'm gonna pose the question to you. In six years at Cedar Point, what is your favorite memory of being in your <laughs> position or just being at Cedar Point? Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. My, my favorite Cedar Point memory, and there's a lot of them, and imagine. this place is, it really is special. It's different than the other parks I've been at. Um, I think July 4th at Cedar Point is such a really uh, unique experience. Fireworks are off, off the beach. Yeah. The beach is jam-packed with people. You've got the sky skyline is kind of the backdrop over here. And when the fireworks go off, uh, the boats are lined up off the beach. So we have a lot of boats anchored out there. It's just a really special place. We're you know? going to be open very soon, May through October. We've got a full service operation here at Cedar Point. And don't forget that we have the greatest waiting room at Cedar. I know you're just coming to Cedar Point just for Melt, which is cool, but remember we have Melt here at Cedar Point has the biggest and best waiting room, not only in the United States, but in the whole universe.